Look at that. See how yellow that is? That is so ripe. That is so ripe and it smells so good. Julie Mango. Got some mangoes on, the, on there right now. This is just about to, this is just about to be, uh, this is soft a little bit. Let me try to get it to focus real quick. I don't know why it's not focusing. But. There we go. This right here is, is uh, you can see how I can clean it. That indication that, that, I don't know what this is called, but I guess this is like a, when your glass is cold or something like that. It's, it's hot as hell right now, but. And it's got like that stuff you can rub off and it's about to be right. I'm squeezing it right now and it's a little soft, but it's not. I'm just gonna, it's, it's still like hard to tug on it. I'm gonna show you one right now that's probably on here that'll be easy to pluck. That's not ripe at all. It's just has color on top. That's not ripe. Uh, let me see about this one. Yeah, this is another one where I could wipe it off. It's soft, but you can't. It's not that. That's another one right there. I could wipe. I could take off. But here goes one. Whoa! What? There's a lot of spider webs in the canopy. But here goes one right now. I could just pull down. There's a lot in here just grab right now. Watch how easy this just comes off. Look at that. See that? There's one right there. Um, there goes one I just picked from the, from the tree. I'm gonna see if I can get another one right here. There's a few in here. I can grab. Okay, it came off so easy. Uh, just need another one. There goes one. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. That came off pretty easy. This one right here. This one looks pretty good. Yep. These look pretty good right here. Yep. And this one. It's looking pretty good. That's about four. It's about seven mangoes right there. So so far, what I picked today, I picked these three. These three. These three were laying on the ground right when I walked out this morning. And well, right before I walk, I just went for a walk and I just came back. And before I went on a walk, these were just on the ground. I picked them up and set them on the chair over there. And the rest of these I just picked just now, coming back home, they were hanging on the tree. Oh, and I left one over there, I'm sorry. <laughs> I left one up here. But look at that, man. These are fresh. Look at the color on this. Look at the color on this, man. That's from this tree right here. Nice yellow. This tastes so good. You know, mangoes are there's there are some mangoes that are flesh like papaya, like you know the flesh of a papaya. You just bite into it. You just bite into it and it's just pure fleshy fruit. And then there are other mangoes that are like hairy, hairy as hell. You peel it and it's got so much fibrous hairs on it. You bite into it and it just gets stuck in your teeth. This is nothing like that. This is pure flesh. This is the sweetest, fruitiest mango there is one of the sweetest fruit I, I wouldn't say this is the, the sweetest but this is this is definitely one of the sweetest mangoes around town um, and there's another mango tree I'm just gonna point it out to you that's very sweet in, right in particular it's right there right there that tree right there that little tree there's a papaya there's an avocado there's a banana papaya avocado and there's a mango tree right there in the dead center of it, right in that trench right there. That mango tree is so fruity. That mango tree tastes so delicious. 
I went walking. It's right, right in the corner of my house. I can walk this way and walk down the street. It's right there. Um, but that mango in particular is so fruity, like a starburst. It's unbelievable. It's so I believe this, like this. It's so crazy to to uh, to to know that mangoes are, are are so sweet. Like they're like like a lot of people don't like mangoes because they eat them at the wrong time. But if you eat them at the right time when it's like this, when it has its ripe stage and you could smell it, if it has an odor. Oh my God, if it has that mango odor, then it's gonna be so sweet. You put it in the refrigerator, you let it get cold. Oh my God, it's gonna be so sweet. It's not gonna be nasty, it's gonna be pure sweet. Like you know when you eat a cake, a fluffy cake, it tastes just like that. You're gonna have that same satisfaction from eating a, a fluffy cake while eating a mango. This tastes so good. Like, I can't describe the flavor mango has. Mango has like a, the, a fruity flavor, like a starburst. You know the, you know the candy starburst? That's exactly what it has. That fruity flavor, sweet, fruity flavor. All right, I just wanted to show you before I put it in the fridge. These are my mangoes that I picked, the Julie mangoes. And these right here are the Hayden mangoes. I think uh, my mom got these from a friend. These are pretty fucking sweet. These are sweet, especially when they're in the fridge. I like them when they look like this. I don't like them when they're like very, very squishy. Like this one's very, very squishy. You can see my thumb sinking right into it. And this one too. This one's very, very squishy. I like them when they are got a little bit of firm, a soft firmness, just like this, a soft firm. You know, if they got a soft, firm touch, just like these, this has a soft, firm touch. It's not like squishy or anything. You can't squeeze it. It's not squishy like this. This you could just like, it's very squishy. This is just a little bit too ripe. This is a little bit too ripe, but it's still edible. But I like them when they're very, when they got a firm, soft touch to it. These right here, this is too soft. This is half and half, half and half. This is soft. This is good. But these right here, I'm gonna save, put them in the fridge, put all these in the fridge. I just gave them, I just wiped them down with some baby wipes, just some fucking toilet paper or some fucking this type of paper. Wet it down and just gave it a little wipe. Now they're clean, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and yeah, done deal. Julie mango, Hayden mango. Remember the Hayden one? The ones that look like this, the Hayden mango. These are hairy, hairy as hell. Hairy as hell, but sweet as shit. This is like, I hate it. I hate it. I hate you, Hayden Mango, but you're so sweet. But I hate how you're so goddamn hairy. It's like I have to floss every time I eat you. With this, you don't have to fucking floss. But with this, you have to fucking floss. There's hair all in your fake fucking teeth. Just like with the Haitian Mango. The Haitian Mango, I love the Haitian Mango, bro. You ever see the Haitian Mango? They have a color just like this. But instead of it being, this is oval shape. It's more, it's more got like a, like a long... It's got like a, it's like a long mango and it's got like a like a weird tip. It's like a very long one with a weird tip. That Haitian mango tastes so good. It's like sweeter than these two. It's not. I wouldn't say sweeter because these are both fucking sweet, but it has a distinct flavor. This tastes different than that. That tastes different than this. But the Haitian tastes different. The Haitian mango tastes different than both of these. Like it's it tastes so good, so fruity, especially when you put it in the refrigerator. Look at that. When I mean, you got a fridge full of mangoes, you know you're doing something good, baby. Yeah.